Hello and welcome everyone. So today we are going to find out what is the cube root, cube root of 27 upon 16. Okay, so here I am going to tell you there will, there will be a step at which lot of people will get stuck. Okay, so let's begin how to do this. Please remember this cube root, okay, if we had something, let's say there is a fraction, okay. It can always get splitted as the cube root of the numerator and as the cube root of the denominator. Okay. Now, before beginning, if all of y'all or whoever has actually gotten the answer for this one as 3 upon 4 cube root of 4. If you have gotten this answer, then you can literally end this video over here. But if in case this answer you could not figure out, then in that case, I request all of y'all to please stick around and understand why we are getting this particular answer. Okay. So coming back here, we are going to apply this logic. So we'll write cube root of 27 upon cube root of 16. Now understand, cube root of 27, all of us know that it is nothing but what? 3. And cube root of 16, now this gets a bit tricky. So what we'll do is, we'll write 16 in terms of factors. So here, you can either write it in form of what? Like 2 into 2 into 2 into 2. Okay. Or you can also write this as nothing but what? Cube root of 8 into 2 whatever strikes you both of them are absolutely correct okay so now here obviously the 3 in the numerator will get carried forward and here see there is a cube root okay so please understand out of all of these 2's how many 2's we can take out okay so for that let me just explain this quickly <clears throat> See, if we had a square root, okay, and square root, if you had 4 into 4 into 4, if you had that, okay, so in this case, what you would do, you would take out the pair, okay, so one, of, so there is one pair, so this single pair stands for just single 4, so we'll take this one 4 out, and this rest of that 4 will remain as it is, okay, but now why did I do that, okay, because it's a square root. Square root means you would have to take two things to be considered as single, one single number. Okay. So obviously if you had three means cube root. Okay. So cube root means what if you had a into a into a into a or into a. Let's do this. Okay. So what will happen is the number denoting over here will be the number of digits in a single pair. So here three a's will be taken outside and that will get you just single a what happens to the next two a's it will remain as it is so what will happen the answer for this one would be what a then there is cube root of a square mind you mind you this cube root gets carried forward okay majority of the times you are always dealing with square root so that's why this particular question comes out to be a bit tricky because here we are talking about cube root. So obviously now you must have understood that if there is an nth root. Okay. And there are what? Uh, let's say a into a into a into a going on. So here what number of a a's will take will be taken as one single a when you take it out of the root. That will be n number of a's. n number of a's will be giving you just one single a when you take it out of the nth root okay so i hope this is very very clear okay so coming back here what will happen over here is there are how many twos we'll take there are three right cube root is basically third root okay so one two and three so we'll take these three twos will get you one single two when taken outside the cube root and here what will be left is cube root of 2. Okay. I hope till here I think maximum people would have understood. Okay. But now this is where the tricky part happens. Okay. 
so let's see here you are left with what 3 upon cube root of 2 and then there is a 2 over here as well okay now obviously if if you were dealing with what 3 upon root 2 you would do the radical uh, basically you do you will rationalize right now why do we rationalize uh, whenever there is a fraction and which has a root in the denominator the reason for that is sometimes sometimes the roots are irrational so then dividing that number dividing the numerator with an irrational number becomes very very tricky so in order to avoid that that is the normal practice we always do is that we always rationalize the denominator okay so now what happens in this case is if you have thought of multiplying this by cube root of 2 and cube root of 2 okay then that is absolutely wrong what happens is in this case see what happens will your denominator will have what cube root of 2 into cube root of 2 that gets you nothing but what cube root of 2 into 2 that gets you 4 so you are still under a cube root your cube root doesn't get out or it doesn't nullify you don't want the cube root in your denominator but still your denominator will have a cube root sign okay so in this case what you should be multiplying think so now for those who thought of multiplying this with cube root of 4 you guys are like really perfect trust me this is where maximum students made a mistake why because they thought of multiplying here by cube root of 2 instead of cube root of 4 and that would be completely a disaster now what will happen over here is that you will get 3 into cube root of 4 okay this remains as it is then you will have 2 into cube root of 2 into cube root of 4 so now since the roots are same what we can do is in the denominator we will write 2 into cube root of 2 into 4 that gets you 3 cube root of 4 into 2 cube root of 8 okay so now i hope you all have understood that you 8 is a perfect cube so here you can write this as nothing but what 3 cube root of 4 upon 2 now cube root of 8 is nothing but just 2 so my dear friend your final answer is nothing but 3 cube root of 4 upon 8 this my dear friends is your final answer for this simple looking question okay so that's it for today apart from this if you have any doubts please mention so in the comment section so that's it for today i will see you in the next video